guys. It's Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. I'm here today to talk about my uh, scrap rug. I'm guessing it's maybe about a third of the way done so far. Maybe, maybe not. We're not sure. Um, and my syrup project. Um, yes, so syrup stands for special reserve yarn project. So how about we talk about the syrup project first? So uh, it started with Lynette and Linan. Um, they uh, had some special yarn and they couldn't figure out what to do with it. So um, they decided, well, hey, let's pick each other a project. Well, um, they were talking about it in Zoom and, you know, we all wanted to join in. So we did. I was paired with Anita. Anita, um, she did the pattern that I, I uh, set out for her. And I think she's actually working on the second one that I did. Well, I changed. <laughs> Once I started working with the yarn that was special to me, I remembered why I didn't like the yarn. <laughs> so it's not special anymore. Um, and uh, so I changed yarn. And I went to... Uh, it's a roving yarn that went from like thread to number three. And whenever I was putting it, you know, putting that project together, it looked terrible. Because the, I mean, literally, it went to thread size um, all the way up to three. And um, it just made everything out of whack. So I went to Anita again, and I was like, Anita! <laughs> so she, I picked out a new yarn, which is... Um, uh, picture Isimo from Louise uh, Harding. Um, it's a uh, medium weight or Aaron weight, uh, three and a half ounces, 164 yards, 75% wool, 25% viscose. Um, it says superwash fine merino with bamboo. Um, and the color is Kandinsky. Uh, 215. I don't know if Kandinsky is actually a, the color name or not, but there we go, right there. So this is the yarn that I picked out. Um, the pattern that she picked out, and I will link it below. I um, It's on a web page, so um, I didn't print anything out. I'm just using it off of the website. It's called the Serendipity Cowl. Uh, it does have a hat to match, so I plan on making a hat um, with the same yarn also. Uh, um, it is a uh, obviously a free pattern because it is on her website. It is made by Kristen Holloway Designs, and I will put a link below um, to that pattern if you are interested and doing the pattern with me. Um, so, um, yeah, you could, you'll be able to see the picture there too. I have, I'm using a, you know, the ugly green, it's people, Soylent Green People hook, five and a half millimeter clover or more. Um, I have used one complaint, complaint, complete donut, um, and this is my second one that I'm working on. Uh, I did, this is the bottom part right here. So it's going to go this way. And um, I'm working on the second half of the body. So I just finished um, row 15, which is up here, of the body of it. Um, and now I'm at the repeat section where I'm going to be going, where it's starting right after this row, uh, row four 
to row 15 again. Um, and then I will put on the top part of it and um, then it'll be done. And I can also make the hat for it. Uh, so yeah, that's that. This is what it's looking like. The last time you guys saw it, I was right here. And now I'm right there. So this is what it's looking like. What do you guys think of it? Yupper yuppers, I'm a liking it. And uh, so yeah, it should be done, hopefully soon. Um, I've not been um, the best at maintaining that, but um, I'm realizing that the cutoff time is coming pretty soon, I think, so probably should have gotten some work on it. So hopefully next time you see it, I'll have uh, the repeat rows 4 through 15 done, and I'll just be working on the top part. So, let me put that down there, and let me get out my scrap rug. Now, she's going to be mad <laughs> because um, I am blocking her way, but she will be fine. I am using a cone. And I might make it all the way here. This is the constant I am using for my scrap rug. It's a Lily Sugar and Cream, 100% uh, cotton, 14 ounces, 674 yards. I'm going to say I'm about a third of the way through this. I think this one is going to go for the entire rug. I do have some smaller black ones in case I do need more, but I think this might be enough. If not, I'll just start again, or not start again, I'll just add some more black to it, but I'll start, I'll get the smaller ones. Um, I am using an H 5.0 millimeter. I'm holding two strands together and I'm using scrap yarn to do it. And they normally, the scrap rugs normally take me a while to do because I won't use this whole scrap. I will make um, normally a kitchen um, scrubby with it, which is just a little round um, scrubby. And I will then put the rest of this to the scrap rug. Um, and that's just, I like to try to get as much as I can. Um, we go through kitchen scrubbies. They either get lost whenever they're um, in the dryer um, or in the washing machine or they get stolen. <laughs> Um, but I also gift a whole lot of them also. So this is normally the size cotton I normally go with, maybe even a little bit bigger. So, um, so yeah, I, I should be able to make a couple of things out of this. And if it's not big enough around, then I just, I'll rip it out and then that's when I'll use that whole one. So, this is what I pair the black with, so I'm always holding two strands together. So, oh goodness, it's not time to go to bed yet. So, this is what it is looking like so far. The last time you saw it, I was right here, and I have done this much since then. I can only do, um, cause this stuff tears up my fingers, but I tell you what, these things last a really long, long time. So you can see I am holding this, the pink and the black. I'm almost out of the pink. So I will tie on another color the next time I grab this. And, um, I just do a half double crochet back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so a, a lot of you guys have asked me how I make it, and this is the simplest thing. Um, I do have, um, I think two of them that are just nothing but scraps. 
and it's a one one thread or one um one strand they don't hold up very well i mean they they do but um yeah, they're, they're really holy. So that's when I was like, well, maybe I ought to hold two strands together. And that's working out a whole lot better. So what I do is I chain. However, wherever it is that I want to put this, um, I normally make them for the front of my door. Um, sometimes for in front of the couch. I was thinking about trying to make this one a little bit longer. So like a runner size just to put in front of the couch. Um, so I don't know. We'll see if that'll work or not. But there you go. That is what it's looking like so far. I normally um, stitch them back and forth for the whole length of it. But this time I was like, I want to go this way. So it's coming out and it's going to be a little longer. So we'll see how long I actually can get it to go. So there we go. This is what my rug is looking like so far. And um, I don't know. We'll see if I can get any more done. Um, you know, pretty soon. So I can uh, show you it again. So that's all I have um, for today. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head out. So thanks guys for watching. Persephone, Persephone, can you tell everybody hello? Can you say hi? No. Okay. She's looking outside. She's mad because, um, it is getting dark now, so I'm not letting her back outside. And plus I'm going to be going into the house pretty soon. So, um, all right. So thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.